Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the original Ray-Ban Wayfair double bridge. So basically, the sunglasses are going to be built on the original Ray-Ban Wayfair platform, but they're going to have an additional silver bridge here up at the top, which gives them a really cool and fresh look. So first off, let's pop these sunglasses on, and we're going to talk about the dimensions. They're going to have 50 millimeter lenses and a 22 millimeter bridge, and this is what they're going to look like on face. These double bridge Wayfair sunglasses are going to be Built on the standard size of the original Ray-Ban Wayfair. So they're going to have the exact same blend size and bridge width. And here I'm just going to pop on the originals here for a second to give you guys a good idea of what the difference of these sunglasses are going to be and how you can really tell how this double bridge is going to completely dramatically change the sunglasses as far as look on face goes. These sunglasses are going to have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens. They're also going to have an etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens for authentication purposes. They're going to have those two traditional Wayfair metal accents here in the top corners of the sunglasses for styling purposes. They're also going to have raised Ray-Ban logos here in the outside temples of the sunglasses. But of course, the most striking aspect of these sunglasses is going to be that extra bridge. They're going to have a very nice looking silver bridge, which is really going to kind of change the way these sunglasses look and feel and really turn them into something that looks completely different than the originals. Like I said earlier, these are built on the original Ray-Ban Wayfair platform so in the inner right temple sunglasses these sunglasses are going to say Wayfair handmade in Italy and again that's because they're built on the exact same original Ray-Ban Wayfair platform so they are going to be made in Italy and because of that the build quality is going to be very very good. I personally love the look of these tortoise frames and I also love these B15 lenses which are going to look really good on face and they're going to really make the colors of the outside world look very bright and brilliant with their brown lenses. Of course these sunglasses are going to have all metal hinges which feel very very premium when opening up and when closing them. They're just gonna feel very nice and premium. These are gonna feel just as good as any other pair of Ray-Bans that I've ever owned. They're going to have about the exact same coverage as a standard pair of Ray-Ban original Wayfarers, but obviously that's not too surprising because they basically just added an extra double bridge at the top, which is not going to affect coverage whatsoever. So as far as coverage goes up top, there's going to be a uh, decent size gap to let sunlight in unprotected here up at the top because of the slant. And then here on the side, again, we can see a pretty decent gap for sunlight to let in. So not going to offer the best coverage, but they're still going to be definitely a very decent pair of sunglasses. As far as weight goes, they're going to be relatively heavy, just like an original pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers. They're going to be made out of full acetate, and they're also going to have a metal stem that runs all the way out to the ear rest, which is going to make these sunglasses a little bit heavier, and they are going to have all glass lenses, so the quality of the glass is going to be very good, but again, it's going to make these sunglasses a little bit heavier, so when wearing these sunglasses for long periods of time, they are going to get a little bit uncomfortable just because of their overall weight. Overall, I do really think this is a very good pair of sunglasses. I really like the double bridge look. I think they really make these sunglasses pop a little bit more than the originals. And these definitely add something new to a classic original frame. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. But again, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.